Hi there, uh, my name is Rich Weller, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a project budget in five minutes. So we're actually going to build this project budget using a bottoms up approach, bottoms up approach. So, so what that means is we're going to list, need our list of tasks or activities. And actually, we uh, in a previous video, we identified um, those list of tasks or activities uh, to build a project schedule um, in, in a previous video. I, I will drop the link to that video in the comments below. As part of this solution, we're going to need to use a few different tools. We're going to start off with what's with project for the web, and that was the that was our scheduling tool in the last video where we uploaded our different. Uh, our, our activities and build a schedule from there. We are then going to extract that information from Project for the Web into Microsoft Excel. We'll manipulate that information a little bit in Excel, and then we'll take that Excel file and we will upload that into Team GPT. Um, and this Team GPT, this is the Chat GPT for Teams usage. It's actually uh, uh, a different a different license. Let me let me show you why uh, I prefer to use this this. Chat G, you'll notice I'm on the Chat GPT site. Um, here's the free version. Here's the twenty dollars per version, the, the plus version, and here's the team version. And right here, this statement right here is the whole reason why I'm going to use the team version is because the team data is excluded from training the bot um, by default. And again, I'm going to upload information into ChatGPT, and I, I don't want to share this information. I don't want to make this information available to the world. Uh, I don't want to train the bot on, on my information. That's why I'm, I'm using the team approach. So with that information, um, uh, this is why I prefer to use this product. So, so now let me, let me demonstrate the clicks. So we're going to start off here inside of this uh, this schedule, our residential construction project. Uh, this is the uh, this is the schedule that we created uh, in a pre in a previous video. And what I'm going to do from this schedule in Project for the Web, I'm actually going to extract the I'm going to extract this out into Excel. So if I click on these three little dots here, you'll notice this says export to Excel, and it says it's preparing our project for export. And here is our residential construction. You can see it's downloaded into my downloads file. So what I want to do now is I'll go over uh, to my downloads file. And I'm going to open up this uh, this file in Excel. And let me just slide this over here so you can see how now, now I'm working within Excel. And I want to manipulate this this uh, just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take this top information out. I'm just going to delete delete these top rows. I'm now going to bold um, these these items right here. So you can, and I'm going to call your attention to task number, task number. Let's capitalize that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to task name. So these two fields are pretty important to me and part of this exercise. So now you can see I've got them as kind of column headings here, and I'm gonna save this information. And you, again, the file file is called residential construction. Save, close this file. All right, so where am I going to go now? Now I'm going to go to that ch ch to to the chat GPT for teams. And and so so here now I'm in that uh, chat GPT for te team and I can tell um, that I've got my um, team version right here. That's how I can tell I'm logged in. So when we're working with our generative AI friends, what you've come to know is that it's it's all about writing that good prompt or that best prompt, right? So here's the prompt that I've written to get us started. So it says, act as if you are a PMP certified senior project manager with 25 years of experience in construction. You're also an expert at creating pr project budgets. For every question that follows, answer with quantifiable results using a personal tone. But I'm saying, please wait until my next question. All right, so I'm, I'm feeding this information into chat GPT here. Um, and it's saying, all right, absolutely, I'm here, I'm ready. What, what's your next question? And but but really, what I want to do now is I want to give Chat Chat GPT here 
Um, so I'm, I'm telling ChatGPT how to think, and now I want to give ChatGPT the scope of this project that we're working on. So, so here's the scope. You can see the scope of this project, three bedroom, two bathroom home in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm saying, please wait. And it says, understood, understood. And so now um, here's, here's what I want to do. So I'm going to get my next prompt. You can say it says you can see it says using the schedule in the Excel file attached for each task name, estimate the cost. Input that information into a table that contains task number. There's one of those fields, task name, labor cost, material cost, and total cost. Oh, and by the way, chat GPT, be sure to add total cost for each column at the bottom of the table. So now I'm giving it specific instructions and I want to go get that. I want to go get that residential construction file that I downloaded and attach it here. And remember, I don't, I'm don't. I'm using the team version, so I'm, I'm uploading this information and I'm not sharing it um, for the training of the bot. So I um, attached the file, gave it instructions, and away we go. All right, so now you can see we uploaded our information and our direction. Chat GPT is coming back with uh, uh, kind of summarizing what it knows it needs to do here. Um, it's giving us uh, information here, and it says, I'll proceed to estimate to create the estimate for you. So now it's analyzing our information. All right, looks like GPT's got, uh, got some information for us, so you can see it's done exactly or is doing exactly what we asked it to do. Dropped in the task number, the task name. It's uh, broke apart the labor cost and material cost for each one of those tasks or activities. It's putting in the total cost for each activity. I do not like the answer that I'm giving here, so I want to give I'm going to give ChatGPT Chat GPT a little bit more direction here because it, it kind of took these various tasks and did not estimate them. So what I'm going to do here is to say, hey, using your expert judgment, please estimate um, the cost. Using your expert judgment, please estimate the cost of all tasks. As hey, uh, let me refine my approach for the tasks that were previously marked with zero due to the lack of information. So it's giving us its assumptions. It's showing us its assumptions that it's working with here. And again, it's going back to create those additional estimates. All right, one more try here, Chad GPT. Let's see what you've got. It's going to town. All right, we're getting close to the bottom here. There's our total overall total labor cost, overall total material cost, and a total cost for this uh, three bedroom, two bathroom home is uh, ninety five thousand dollars. Before any kind of markup there, I don't know. Uh, it seems like a pretty reasonable cost cost estimate to me. Again, uh, if we're able to get more finite information, I'm sure uh, chat GPT would be able to provide us even more details, but that seems uh, like a plausible answer to me. So there you go. I hope you found great value uh, in this uh, in this short video, and we'll see you on the next one.